Okay, so welcome to part four. This is the fourth and final part of this little Android series that I've been doing, making this robot in Blunder. Um, so if you haven't already seen part one, two, and three, go ahead, check it out on my channel. And this is the final part. And I will be uploading the finished blend file onto my Patreon as well in the description if you want to join that. Also help support the channel. So uh, let's jump in and finish off making our adorable little animation. So now we're in part four, we're gonna be finishing off. So let's um, start by adding the materials. Now, obviously in part three, we did the animation, we set up the scene, and uh, we also did a little bit of lighting and we just um, changed our render engine to cycles, okay? So with all of that done, let's go ahead and select the Android head. Let's go to our material properties here and just click new and let's call this material um, main body paint. And we're just going to come to our viewport display just so we can see and kind of give it a kind of green color. And that way we can also grab the body, come to the drop down, give it that main body paint. And then we're going to select the neck and go new. And let's just call this rubber. And under the viewport display, let's make it dark. Now keep in mind, the viewport display is only that. It's a viewport display, so it's not the actual material. And then we're going to select these rubber body parts, give them rubber grab the legs, make that rubber. And then we're gonna grab the main um, doors here. Let's go new, create a material, and so let's call that green two. And that's just gonna be a secondary green material. So I'm gonna make that kind of greenish, but a bit darker in the viewport. Okay. And we're gonna grab the feet, and we're gonna give that that same green two. And another option is as well, it's just to select the arms. Click plus, but this time come to the drop down and add that green to material and then tab into edit mode. And then just select an edge or something on this hand, holding and shift, do it on the other one and then go control L. Now they're both active, click on the green to and click assign. And let's go plus and go and create a new material. We're gonna call it metal shiny. And let's just go ahead and select just these claws. Okay. And with just a claw selected, let's just go metal shiny and assign. Now the viewport display, let's just kind of make it metallic so it looks shiny. And then let's tab back out. And then let's select the Android head. And let's click plus, come to the drop down and add that green to material. Tab into edit mode and then just select parts of the eye, go control L so they're active and then assign green to. Then let's go plus and create a new material. And let's call that light. Let's make it yellow in the viewport. And then let's go to our face select and holding and shift, let's just select this face and this face and then assign that light to your material. And then what we can do is with them both selected, we're gonna press, with them both active, we're gonna press H to hide it. And you can optionally hold and shift and alt and just left click and loop select the inside of the eyes here like this and go control plus just to grow the selection something like this maybe and then just go ahead plus come to the drop down and then add that existing um, metal shiny and assign that and then go alt h just to bring everything else back again that's optional if you want to add that little extra um, detail there but you could really just keep it as simple as having just the light and a green material. Okay, you can add as many or as little materials as you want. So I'm going to tab back out and I'm just going to quickly drag through my animation just so I can see the heart. I'm going to select the heart and go new. Let's call this heart and in the viewport display, let's just make it kind of red. Okay, and make sure to save. So now let's go into our camera view. Let's go into our shading workspace and okay, back into camera view, obviously. And let's press Z and go rendered. And now let's select the head and let's go to material properties. Let's go to the main body paint. And now we can do some things to this. So let's come here and give it a base color, make it kind of green. And the nice thing is you can make it whatever you want. I'm gonna make it green like this. I'm gonna make it slightly metallic. And I might actually, cause I realized that the lights are quite bright. So I might just grab some of my lights just bring the strength way down and maybe bring the value down on this plane just so it's not as intense um, you can adjust your lighting however you want 
But with that done, I'm also going to go ahead and select the actual eyes. But with the head still selected, let's click on the green 2 material. And let's make that also green, but just a little bit darker. And with that, I'm going to bring the roughness down and just give a little bit of a metallic as well. And then I'm going to select the light material. And let's come to the surface here. Let's just go and under our light properties, just make it a mission. And let's give it a kind of yellowish color and increase the strength to 12. Or maybe let's go with 8. There we go, 8. And then let's click on the shiny metal material and just make it metallic and bring down the roughness like so. And then let's click on the rubber material. I guess one of these arms, let's make sure to select the rubber. Let's make the base color dark like so. And let's bring down the roughness a little bit. And that's it. That's looking really, really good. Obviously select the heart and just give that a nice red material. And maybe bring down the roughness of down just to make it a little bit shiny. But that's what we're looking for here. Okay, so now you can also grab your floor. You can go ahead and create a new material called floor. And you can come here to the base color and give it whatever material you want. Okay, you can make it darker, um, lighter. Completely up to you. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import a material that I have. Um, you guys could do the same. So I'm just going to go and get a wooden material. This is one of the ones I have in my PBR library. It's a completely free one that you can get from polyhaven.com. I'm just going to go ahead and grab it and just append it. And I'm just going to add that in like so. So now I have this kind of nice wooden floor, but that's just, like I said, a personal preference. You guys don't have to do the same thing. And I might just grab my camera and I'm just gonna adjust that a little bit. Once again, this is now where we start getting into personal preference and posing. That's something you guys can do um, to kind of make your scene a little bit more unique. So I'm gonna go with maybe an angle and a camera like so. That's looking pretty good. And I'm gonna make sure to save. And let's also just go to our render settings. Let's just come down and enable motion blur. So when there is a bit of movement, we can get some motion blur. And let's go back to our layout, make sure to save. And now let's just go render and just render image just to do a test render. And there we have an adorable little Android render that we've made in Blender. So if you want to render this out as an animation, I'll show you how to do that. You got to go to your output settings. Go to your output and just click on this file. Select a destination on your computer and go accept. Then you can take the file format and change it to FFmpeg video. And under your encoder, you can make the container an MP4 over here, MPEG4. Make sure to save. And then if you go render and render animation, it'll take a little bit of time, but it'll render it out to your selected destination. So this is the Android tutorial. And I'll go ahead now and I'll add my own kind of little details to this. But this is as far as the tutorial is going to go. I think this is enough for you guys to really get the general idea. From here on, it is up to you what objects you add into the scene, how you adjust your lighting, some things you do with the materials. But even this result here is already really, really nice. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time for another Blender tutorial. Thank you for watching.